Hey guys, and welcome back to today's MLB video play of the day for July 14th, 2017. We've had a few days off here, uh, probably the only stretch throughout the entire year where I'm not constantly thinking about sports, but it's nice to get a little break, and for today's video, we're going to be heading into a matchup over in the NL West between the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. If you guys are interested in getting more of this pick video content in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button, and you can also head on over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description over there. You can access our daily free free play. So heading into today's video, we got two teams that have not been living up to their expectations. Well, much more so the Giants than the Padres. I think everybody knew coming into the year that the Padres were going to be very challenged, um, especially offensively. But the Giants have been more of a surprise. Uh, this was supposed to be, you know, a team that was at least going to compete in the middle tier of the NOS and maybe even for one of those wild card playoff spots. But really, the wheels have fallen off for the Giants right now standing 34 and 56 overall. The Padres actually, um, they've been a little bit better than that, standing 38 and 50 overall. But I do expect the Giants to probably surpass the Padres at some point throughout the second half of the regular season. The Padres, a very young team building for the future. Um, while the Giants, they're more of a veteran win now team that has a little bit of pride. I don't see the Giants quitting, especially uh, with the type of uh, coaching that they have on their team, not going to be. Uh, throwing in the towel and hanging things up anytime soon. The Giants actually had a winning spell recently. Uh, they swept their series against the Colorado Rockies, and then they swept a series on the road against the Pirates. Um, but unfortunately, the Giants couldn't keep that momentum going into their final two series before the All-Star break, winning just one, um, one game in the last two series coming against the Tigers on the road and then the Marlins at home. On the year, the Giants have been disappointing on both sides of the ball, but even more so pitching-wise. Pitching in a pitcher's ballpark, the Giants right now ranking 24th in baseball in total team earned run average, while their offense ranks 28th. This is an offense that has potential when uh, they get things clicking, but uh, it's just been those offensive performances have been not as consistent as you'd like to see out of a lineup that has um, you know a number of guys that can put the ball in play. Um, and it even seems like a lot of the games where the Giants are able to put up run support, uh, then they just have a poor pitching performance. But today, the Giants are going to be sending out one of their top arms veteran already, 31-year-old Johnny Cueto. And on the year, Cueto, you know, he hasn't been even close to his career numbers, but hasn't been completely awful. He's posted a 4.51 ERA, 98 strikeouts, 1.37 whip. Um, you know, four of his last or in his last four outings, three of them have been really strong. It's just his last start that wasn't great, which came against the Miami Marlins, where he logged six innings, giving up six hits and six earned runs. But prior to that, um, in three straight outings, uh, Cueto gave up three earned runs or less. So across those three starts in total, uh, he logged 19 innings, giving up just six earned runs in total. So we were seeing much better out of Cueto until that last start. Uh, before the All-Star break. And he's going to be looking to get out of the All-Star break, heading back in the right direction uh, going forward. And he'll get his chance here pitching in a pitcher's ballpark against the San Diego Padres, who have uh, the worst offense in baseball. Um, and pitching hasn't been that great for the Padres either this year. Um, right now the Padres ranking 22nd in baseball in total team earned run average. And then batting-wise, this group ranks just 30th in baseball in total run scored, 30th in batting average, 30th in on-base percentage. All of those obviously dead last in all of the majors. I'm actually surprised that the Padres have been able to win as much as they have been this year. Um, right now seeing with that 38-50 and 50 overall record, I would actually even expect them to be – lower down than what they currently are. Not a ton of talent um, from top to bottom on this Padres lineup and a lot of young guys that are pretty much getting thrown to the Wolves um, just to see what they're made of this year for this Padres organization. But San Diego today going to be sending out 33-year-old lefty Clayton Richard. And, you know, Richard hasn't been dominant by any means. He's had a number of poor outings, but on the year he's posted a 4.66 ERA, 75 strikeouts, and a 1.48 whip. So, uh, Cueto has been having a down year, but even he's been pitching better than Richard this season overall. In his last outing, Richard's actually much better. He was coming off back-to-back -back outings where he'd given up uh, nine hits in each start, five earned runs and seven earned runs respectively. But in his last outing, much better on the road against the Phillies, who are another one of the worst teams in baseball. But he was able to go six innings, giving up five hits, just one earned run. It'll be interesting to see um, if he's able to build off of that outing coming in post-All-Star break. 
uh, as he had been a bit shaky there uh, heading into the break, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see what he's able to give us here uh, coming out of that all-star break. So not the most intriguing matchup on the board, but certainly one that I think has some value. Um, the San Francisco Giants, I rank in terms of their offensive potential and output much higher than the Padres from top to bottom, and also I give them uh, a pretty solid edge here on the mound in terms of Cueto versus Richard. Also, this is a veteran San Francisco squad that has pride, which they're going to be playing through uh, the second half of the regular season, looking to at least get back to respectability while the Padres just building for the future, winning not a priority right now. They, uh, I'm sure their management would much rather have them get a higher draft pick. So I wouldn't be surprised at all to see the Padres fall below the Giants at some point during the second half. And I'd actually be really surprised if the Giants weren't able to take over the Padres at some point. But uh, for this one, we are going to go ahead and start with the road team taking the San Francisco Giants straight up here. Uh, if you can get it at about minus 115, somewhere in that range, that should be a pretty strong value bet for uh, your action today. So thanks guys for stopping on in, and we hope to see you in future videos. Always, you can click that subscribe button to get more of this pick video content in the future and check out our main website, stumpthespread.com, link down in the video description to access our daily free play. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.